Hello, this is Darek. Let's Polish. You want to give vent to your emotions, but at the same time you don't want to be vulgar? You can use soft vulgarisms. Something which is widely acceptable, but sometimes it sounds funny and a bit silly. I mean, not too serious. These phrases you can use in the ladies' company, in your job, in a public place, itd. It's good to know these phrases because for sure you will hear it in a TV show, in a movie, soap operas, breakfast television, and who knows, maybe in a discussion with some Polish people. Start from the most popular, most common Polish soft swear, a vulgar word, I mean kurde. It sounds like this one, the most popular, most common Polish vulgar word, I mean kur, but I cannot use this one in this movie because we discuss about soft vulgarisms, so it won't come out from my mouth today. Kurde. What is it? I didn't think too much about this one. It actually means nothing specific. I believe it bases on this one which is a bit more serious, and maybe years ago, ages ago, someone decided to soften this one, and we got kurde. You can use kurde almost any time and in any situation. For example, when you're surprised. Kurde, ale super pogoda. Angry? Kurde, ale się wkurzyłem. Happy? To jest kurde wspaniałe. Sad? Hm. Myślałem, że będę miał 10 tysięcy subskrybentów do końca roku. Kurde, nie udało się. If you want something even softer, you can change kurde into kurcze, which is actually a chick, a chicken small, small one. Kurcze, jaka ładna pogoda. It works like an interlude. Cholera, which is cholera in English. You know, this disease. And mostly, additionally, is cholera jasna. It's like a bright cholera or something like that. Or also you can you can you can swear like do cholery. It's like oh shit. I would say we use it mostly when something happened, something bad. For example, a car accident. No, I think in in this case you would say kur. You know, it's more vulgar. So you drop your phone and you can say cholera jasna. Opuściłem telefon. Cholera jasna. Zaspałem do pracy. Do cholery z tym samochodem. Ciągle się psuje. And another one. Od cholery. It means a lot. So many. Zobacz. Od cholery ludzi. Cholera, I would say it's a little bit similar to what the hell. You know, it's not super vulgar, but it's a little bit serious than what the heck. And it's also a bit more serious than kurde. But still softer than the most popular Polish curse. You can also say do diabła, to the devil, like do diabła z taką robotą, nienawidzę jej, but, which is not true because I like my job. If you don't agree with someone and you want to say leave me alone, you can say pocałuj mnie w dupę, which means literally kiss my ass. And there is a lot of dupa expressions in Polish language. I think that Marta recorded a video about this one, so you can find it in the description. Greetings from Kielce. And a bit more polite, mam to w nosie. So, it's in my nose, I don't care about it. And also you can say mam to gdzieś. I have it this somewhere. Which somewhere in this case is like nowhere, but you know, don't try to understand it. It's just an expression. Wiesz Nie chcę mi się dzisiaj iść do pracy. Mam to w nosie. Mam to gdzieś. Mam to b... Or you are pissed at your boss. Mam go w dupie. Mam go w nosie. Mam go gdzieś. Next one. Pierniczyć. This is the soft version of pierlić. Do you remember this one? You can also find more serious Polish curses, Polish vulgar words in the description. So this one is softer. And it's a little bit funny because it comes from piernik. Gingerbread. So it's like gingerbreading. Nie piernicz. Nie gadaj głupot. Don't say stupid things. And you have a lot of possibilities with pierniczyć. You know, connections with other ends or 
parts of the word. For example, opierniczyć, to yell at somebody. Opierniczyłem go, bo się spóźnił do pracy. Why do I talk about job again and again? I don't know. Przepierniczyć, for example, money. It means to spend money. Przepierniczyłem wczoraj 500 zł. W barze. Or for example, zapierniczyć, to steal. Wczoraj ktoś zapierniczył mi 50 zł. And now guys, guess what does it mean? Cholera jasna, daj kciuk w górę i nie piernicz, że nie dasz, bo cholera potrzebuje od cholery kciuków i komentarzy, bo jak nie, to do diabła z taką robotą. It's all for today. I think, I hope you like it, I believe it, but make me sure. Tell me in the comment, maybe you have heard something like soft Polish swearing, Polish vulgarisms, and you can share with us here. Bye bye, see you next time.